that's the beginning of recovery. We, we call it coming out of denial. But so many people are afraid to admit that their life is a mess, and so it keeps them stuck because they're told that strong people, they pull themselves up by the boot, their bootstraps. Strong people are, are self-starters. They're able just to get over it. Just stop doing what you're doing. But admitting you have a problem, it actually doesn't make you weak. It makes you strong because it's saying it actually gives God the power to come in and help you where you couldn't help yourself. And you're saying admit it. That sounds like there's somebody else involved. It's like you're going ahead and sharing it with somebody else. Well, sure. It starts with admitting to ourselves, actually. We have to, we have to look in the mirror and say, you have a problem. The person yeah. here is the person that has the problem. And it's funny because we'll do a lot to keep ourselves from knowing or from admitting that we have problems. We'll rationalize, we'll justify. Well, you know, she didn't nag me or it's not as bad as him or I only have a few drinks after work or, or whatever that issue is, we can justify it. But when we finally admit to ourselves, we can admit to ourselves and then we admit it to God and then we can admit it to somebody else. You know, the Bible says, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. And that's such a huge part of it because if I just keep it to me and God, then I, I can be forgiven. But if I want healing, I've got to bring somebody else into it.